Hi everyone, I'm Fiona and welcome back to my garage. Today, it's actually day three. Today is Sunday, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, this weekend. We have been doing an engine swap to this 96 Camry. Yes, a Camry. But that's all right because this, this car belongs to Skye and I've known Skye since she was four years old and I've known her for well over 10 years now. And she's a young adult, she's got a car and a license, but uh, a week ago, the, the engine died, it stopped and, uh, and broke down. Uh, I had a chat to her about ways to fix it, and being an older car, probably the uh, easiest way to fix it is just to get another motor. Um, and I, uh, I had a parts car, a red Camry, uh, made available to me, and I know that the uh, engine and all the running gear in that car was good. So uh, we, we put together a plan to do an engine swap and that's what this weekend has been about. So uh, last week I went down with my uh, tow rig and the trailer and, uh, and we loaded the uh, car up to bring it back to the garage and uh, to, to get ready for this uh, big weekend. And, uh, and we got the red Camry parts car that you might have noticed in another video that um, that uh, ready to go. Uh, Friday, we drove, Sky drove the uh, red Camry into the garage and we dropped the, the subframe out from underneath the front of the car and extracted the motor. And uh, just insert a few clips of that. I'm not exactly sure what I've got on film for that. Uh, Saturday, uh, I started playing with that motor and, uh, and preparing that but uh, yesterday, Saturday, we then pushed the uh, white Camry in the garage and uh, we started to pull the engine out and we put the engine out through the top because uh, engine and gearbox, the front wheel drive car, it's the easiest way. So um, we did that yesterday and Sky said hi and, uh, and we worked all day on, on getting that car so I'll just uh, insert a little bit of footage from, from yesterday um, pulling out the uh, engine from the car, um, we, we lifted it up, we did all this stuff. Anyway, so we, uh, yesterday we, uh, we lifted the motor out of the car and, uh, and, and dropped it down. Uh, today, we need to just uh, swap over and do a little preparation before we uh, load the uh, engine with the, uh, the gearbox back into the car and then uh, connect it all up and uh, hopefully, with a pinch of luck, it'll be all running today. So we'll see how we go into today. Okay, so as it stands, this is the, uh, the new motor. Uh, we've attached the uh, manual gearbox from the car and uh, because the, uh, the parts car though was, was an automatic, so we've had to do a gearbox swap. And we're just fixing up some of the, the hoses and things and just to make sure that the car engine's ready to go. We'll give it a bit of a clean and, um, and then hoist her in. And of course the engine bay itself, I'll just give it a quick little tidy up while we're here, but uh, Pretty much the plans to one out, next one in. So we're just basically looking at the engine to make sure that everything's ready to go. Swapped a few bits over, changed a couple of hoses, gave it a bit of a clean. I think we're basically ready to start putting it in, so we'll, uh, we'll have a go at that. Alright, so the engine's in now and we've connected the, uh, all the engine mounts. Uh, there's four mounts, there's one at the top, two on the side, front and back, and then down the back of the gearbox. Uh, so we can now drop the engine crane 
and uh, pull these chains off and uh, now it's just a matter of connecting everything okay so the electricals are plumbed up and uh, a lot of lines fitted up the serpentine belt air conditioner and so forth it actually starting to look like it fits and lives in there now uh, it's just a slow process but we're just buttoning everything up as quick as we can and then we'll start troubleshooting all the stuff we forgot towards the end so we're um, starting to get to that stage where we're actually like well at least I start staring at it looking for things that can be connected fairly easily logically yeah. <laughs> is there much more to go? Um, what's left other than, let's see, you're doing the drive shafts uh, and uh, the sort of, you know, that sort of things. So it would be the linkage cables for the gear shift selector, the clutch line, the, uh, obviously the air box comes in, sort of covers a lot of the space, so we'll do everything under that first. Um, but, I honestly think we're getting to the point where, uh, probably not far off the, like the power steering pump, the linkages, the clutch line, the radiator system has to still go in, but we'll, we'll try and give it a crank and run it without that first. Um, because if there's something not right, then pulling that out again is a pain. Um, but yeah, I think we're, we're, we are getting there. It's now 3.30 almost in the afternoon. So we're trying to get this done a couple more hours. Go, go, go. Alright, so other than fluids uh, being that we haven't checked the transmission fluid, we haven't done put more um, brake fluid in the clutch line, we haven't obviously returned the um, radiator and coolant, as you can see. Uh, we haven't, um, we haven't done any really of the fluids. The engine's still got oil in it because we never dropped the oil out of it being that uh, we know the engine had a, a service not long before it was um, dropped off the road. The, um, so everything's plugged back in as best as we can imagine. So we're, we're almost actually at the point of giving it a key start and to see whether she will fire and run and just to check. So uh, we're going to give that a go. All right, let's, uh, let's see what happens. Clear? Yeah. And lights and she starts. Woohoo! Awesome! Alright, we won't leave it running too long because uh, there's no radiator in it, but uh, she starts. Sweet! So when it comes time to uh, bleed brakes or clutches, get two people. Two people. Someone on the pedal and someone doing the bleeding. The, these these one-person kits, yes, they exist. But it's just so much easier getting someone to push the pedal for you. It is so much easier. Okay, so we've got the bleeder here with just a little bit of clear tube on there. And what we're doing is we're releasing it, say press down, and then tighten it up and put it saying up. All right, at the other end of my tube is just a, uh, an old socket zip tied onto the hose just to catch it in the bucket, like that, you see? So, down, and up, okay, and then what we need to do regularly 
is to top up our reserve. Don't spell it. Alright, so we do that until we get, now this is a new pretty blue colour. And you can see the colour in the line. The old stuff was brown, so when that goes to a nice blue colour and the bubbles stop, we're done. Down. Yep. And up. Yep. And down. Yep. And up. And down, and up, that was pretty new clutch fluid, brake fluid, it's the same stuff, down, up, so it's been a long three days and I'm exhausted. It's late Sunday afternoon and I'm back to work tomorrow. Um, but the car starts and it runs. Um, I have promised Skye that we would not drive it. Apparently she's on her way. She had to go babysit the uh, little, little one. But she's on her way back. And uh, hopefully she can drive it out of here and uh, we're problem free. Would you like to get in and start her up? What do you want me to do? Start her up. Get in. Oh. Sit her down. Just <laughs> Okay, so we're going for our first drive in the new engine. So far we've noticed the clutch feels different, the accelerator feels different. But you like it. I don't like you it. You don't like it. We might have to adjust the pedal height or something. Yep. Now I've told Sky because this engine's been sitting for probably about a year without regular use, uh, that there is a chance that things will go wrong uh, or overheat or similar or something might not be right so we need to keep a close check on the temperature more than anything else and if the oil light comes on go straight oh. if the oil light comes on um, that that's very bad so anyway it's been a huge three days thank you very much to sky and all the help i've had and we will see you next time bye Ha, ha, ha.